importance of this. First at five, a massive move in the fight against coronavirus. Lawmakers in the White House moving forward with a $2 trillion stimulus package, which will provide money and assistance to everyday Americans, while boosting up small businesses and entire industries, which have taken on the economic slam of COVID-19 fears. The historic price tag equals half the size of the country's entire annual budget, making it the largest relief bill in the country's history. Lawmakers are putting the finishing touches on it tonight. Then the president says he will sign it as soon as possible. And that relief, those checks from the federal government, cannot come fast enough for millions of people here in western Washington. Matt Lorch, live on the east side tonight with the local workers and businesses who desperately need the support. Matt. Well, Brian, the pain is real. That's what we hear over and over from local workers laid off because their workplaces were forced to shut down. They are thankful that the federal government is sending some money, but they question if it will be enough. When Duke Seafood was forced to temporarily shut down its seven area locations last week, 31-year-old bartender Tim Gagne says he got a gut punch. We are struggling desperately struggling and it is it's tough and it's real. His partner also works in the restaurant business. She too was let go. You know, we still have all of our bills, rent, student loans, health care, everything like that. It's just it's scary is what it is. The layoffs are just going to be astronomical. That's the co-owner of Duke Seafood, John Mosgrip, who along with his father posted this letter at their restaurants and online saying this hurts and we would not be doing this if we didn't have to. Telling me laying off their 300 plus workers to save the business was the hardest thing he's ever done. That's been probably the biggest, uh, the gut-wrenching challenge for me, just knowing that uh, the uncertainty of when we're gonna be able to get back and run and, and, and what all these people are gonna do now. Are you nervous? I am, I am. It's, um, it's a, just a challenging time, and when we get open, it's the uncertainty of how quickly is it gonna come back. Help from the federal government may be on the way. The rescue bill would expand unemployment benefits, provide $367 billion for small businesses to keep paying workers now forced to stay home, and it will send most Americans direct payments, $1,200 per adult making up to $75,000 a year, $2,400 per couple making $150 grand per year, with $500 payments per child. It's going to be very beneficial just for the short time being. Darcinio Hunter got a double whammy. The certified health coach and fitness professional saw his business dry up when gyms in the state shut down. Then he lost his part-time job at a restaurant. He's appreciative of the government support, but says he's worried it may come too late for so many in his industry. Last time we were in a situation like this, uh, it took months for that those funds to go out to people. So it's not like it's gonna be a tomorrow thing, uh, which is always a big concern for everybody in this situation. Anything helps, but I mean, one check for $1,200 isn't gonna fix it. You know, we, we're, we're gonna need long-term benefits. Workers and businesses banking on a financial boost to bridge the gap while hoping to avoid a further financial crisis. We all need help. Uh, we're all in this together and uh, same thing with our banks and our landlords and our, our team members. But uh, if we all uh, strive and get this thing together uh, and, and work together, um, we'll, we'll get back and get things up and running like they were previously. The rescue bill also provides help for the struggling airlines and hospitals, and it covers gig workers like Uber drivers that were not covered before. Relief that for many folks cannot come soon enough. Live on the east side, Matt Lorch.